You're watching JD3 TV. Throughout the journey of life, we encounter struggles that prevent us from reaching our fullest potential. But this does not have to become our reality. Join me as your goal achievement strategist on a life-changing journey as I talk with various guests on how to experience breakthrough and obtain massive success in the eight dimensions of life. Discover the power of living life purposely, joyfully, and gratefully with the Rise Above Show with Patricia Jo Grover. I can't wait to introduce you to today's guest. Welcome to the Rise Above Show. This is Dr. Patricia Jo Grover. And today my guest is Marlene Trammell. And let me tell you a little bit about Marlene. You know, I'm so happy to have her here with me. Today yeah. she's here with me in the emotional dimension of life. All right. So are you ready to find out a little bit about her? Yes. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, Marlene Trammell is known as the knockout queen. She is a minister. She's an, a woman's empowerment coach, a speaker, and an author. She empowers women to lead with their gift, reminding them that your gift is your gold line. Through transformative coaching, Marlene helps women heal from trauma, cultivate confidence, and embrace life's mastery. Her recovery from her own brain aneurysm guides women in, in rediscovering their spiritual gifts, enhancing inner peace, and embracing the their highest calling. Welcome to the show, Marlene. Hello, 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 Patty. I'm so excited to be here today. Yes. Oh, and 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 I I'm so I'm so glad the energy that we have. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yes, yes, fantastic. yes. Yeah. The knockout queen. Yes, you knock out my gloves. Oh, sweet. Ready, I, love ready, ready. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, so I'm going to start off with, with the segment of my show. It's this Grammy doesn't knit. She cliches. And what mm -hmm. I mean by that, Marlene, was there a phrase or an adage that somebody may have used with you as a child that may have affected you negatively or positively? And I want to know if you'll share that with us and how it affected you through your life and maybe now as still as an adult. One phrase that comes to mind and I say it now and I say it all the time. So I know that it is ingrained in me mm. is chew the fish and spit out the bones. Ooh, that's an interesting it, it one. Is, yes. Yes. That basically means that don't take offense to everything. Take what applies to you and leave the rest. Oh, I love it. Now, so let me ask you this now, because that, that is so cool. But when you were a kid, did, did you really, did you understand it? Or, or when did it hit you? At what age do you think you You know what it is hitting me more so now? As a kid, no. I know I used to come home, of course, you know, when, uh, when someone made me upset or angry or when I was in a dispute with my brother or sister, my mom would say, hey, chew the fish, spit out the bone. I'm like, what does that mean? And, you know, they would explain it. She would explain it to me in her own way. And now as I'm older and wiser, I understand what that means because um, dealing with energy, some, some people are not going to come to you with the best of energy. And we don't know what state of mind they're in. So I've learned not to take, you know, every encounter personal. I, I just take it for what it is and I'll just leave whatever I don't want to receive um, and just continue moving. Amen to that. So that what I'm what I, I'm doing with this segment of the show is actually sharing with people that the words that we use with our children yes. or with other people really matter, but especially the words that we use with ourselves. Oh, most but, definitely. But there's yes. so much wisdom to old adages. So mm -hmm. so I hadn't heard that adage that quite that way, but it mm -hmm. makes so much sense. So yes. if you were gonna use that today with, with other people. How would you reword that, Marlene? I would say to someone to show up 
the way that you will want someone to show up for you. Because you, your first impression is your last impression. So the way that you show up is the way a person will receive you. Okay. So that means that you don't want someone saying, oh, Marlene was just had a bad attitude or, and, and, and you have to sit and think about it. That means that I did not make the cut with that person. My first impression is not, was not the highest and best version of myself. Right. We never get a second chance to make that exactly. first impression. Exactly, exactly. Oh, well, again, thank you for, for playing along with me with this because it is, it's really amazing what we uncover when I, when I share oh, this definitely. and talk with yes. this with guests. Awesome. Well, I'll get right, I'll get right to it. I have some questions for you today. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Okay, what is the significance of the purple gloves and your title, The Knockout Queen? My purple gloves are very significant to me, Patty. Um, I had these gloves for, I got these gloves from a kickboxing class and they were buried somewhere in um, one of my um, gym bags because it was a promo, right? That was back, I would say in 2014, 2015. So I totally forgot about them. Well, in 2018, I um, was rushed to the um, hospital, to the emergency room because I thought I was having a stroke. And come to find out, I was actually diagnosed with a brain aneurysm. Wow. Yes, when the doctor told me that, uh, instantly, God showed me these gloves. And let's go... A couple of months before that, Patty, in 2017. I just started getting goosebumps. Yes, he showed me my gloves. It was November 2017 was the first time he showed me my purple gloves. I did not know what he meant. Um, he just said in my dream to get up and fight. That was it. I'm like, what does this mean? I'm like, I didn't think anything about it until when I was in the hospital room. And after the doctor told me that, that's when he showed me my boxing gloves, get up and fight. And he also showed me standing inside of a boxing ring. Um, and the that's third your time, background now. Oh, my yes, goodness. That's the background now. That's why I'm like, it's so meaningful to me. And my gloves, uh, even though I don't take them everywhere I go. But they are reminded that I am a fighter. And that's what I want to tell all women, no matter what challenges you may be facing, we all face some type of challenge, Patty. Yes. You have the ability to get up and fight. You have everything that's within you. And that's what he was showing me, reminding me, get up and fight. And the third time was when, after I had brain surgery, which was a year, year and a half later, he showed me my gloves again because um, recovery was different, you know, for me. I've never had a brain surgery, so I, I had to tap within and listen to his voice for him to help me to recover, to go through, um, gr you know, my grief that I was experiencing. And um, I, it, it was it was a, a journey. I can tell you that. But I, I had everything within me to fight through it. Oh, amen to that. And that's what you and I are so similar in many different ways. Because yes. I, I think I had told you um, back a while ago about my motorcycle accident and having yes. the fractured skull and the brain bleed and, and not mm -hmm. even there's a whole month of my life I don't remember because my oh, brain wow. shut down allowing my body to heal. Yeah. I never thought I'd be able to drive a car again. I've had panic attacks just being a passenger in a vehicle. So yes. all the things that we go through mm -hmm. and and the, the fight, everything that we have to fight for to get to regain mm -hmm. a certain certain amount of life that we can. Yes, you know, definitely. Yeah, I agree. Oh, fantastic. So more questions for you. Marlene, how can women tap into their spiritual gifts and use them to lead both in their personal lives and use them professionally? Because I, I work with people with this. Because So I'm wanting your take on this. I know for me, that is one of the reasons why I'm so animate about women being able to center themselves in peace. And you may say, what does that look like, Marlene, on such a chaotic day? 
You have to begin your day like that. Centering yourself in peace, that means check with you, check in with yourself to see how you feel. Do that before you even start your day. So if you know you have to get up at seven, set that alarm for 6:30 and just center yourself, pray, and also meditate. And I always tell my, my clients that prayer is when you talk to God. Meditation is when you listen to him. Ask yourself, how are you feeling? Check in on yourself first and listen. And you know what? He is going to guide you. And then everything that you have, I, I believe that you should have a list of things that you want to accomplish You're in, and be very intentional Patty, that right there will help you to tap within and be able to be in alignment with your goals. We all fall short, right? We may not be able to meet those daily goals. My whole thing is um, stop looking at the big picture because sometimes that big picture can be so overwhelming. And that's why I love about you. You're the goal uh, strategist. And I'm pretty sure you share the same message. Take one day at a time. And guess what? Before you know it, you're going to be closer to your goal than you was on yesterday. Amen to that. Yes. And and I teach people because my initials are PJG. I choose to live yes. life purposely, joyfully, and gratefully. And gratitude like that, yes. is huge. So mm -hmm. one, one tip I share with people is I think of three things that I'm grateful for every morning before my feet hit the floor before oh, i get yes. out of bed I, awesome. i'm grateful for three three things and i and i share that and think about that and then like you said then i look at what it is i have on my plate for that day <clears throat> and and i am um, <clears throat> i look within myself to, to set like you said to center myself but also one tip that I can share that I'm, I, I like to share on this is when, when I know I'm going to be meeting with certain people that day, I go back and I revisit how I left the last conversation with them. Mm, okay, when, I like that. The last that. conversation. So like Marlene, before meeting with you today for this, you know, I thought of our last conversation, right? And how I felt emotionally when I left that that conversation, right? Because coming to this one, I want to be at that same level of, like that. of 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 that connection, right? Or or even to have it better. And if we approach our days and our conversations and our relationships that way, they are so much better. Yes, yeah. I agree. I totally because agree. If, I like if we're that. leaving, if we're leaving a in a conversation like that, right? Then we are pretty sure the other person is leaving it almost equally, right? Yes. So definitely. and that and that's that's a tip that I share in in my in my design your destiny planning system to help people to be able to plan to have have the better days, right? Cuz when we have these days that that are their great days, everything that we have accomplish in that day are helping us to get closer to our, totally our agree. dreams and goals. Yes. Yes. I oh, totally agree. Yeah. So, oh my goodness. So yeah, us both are sharing tips today. So this is, this is awesome. I like that. I like that. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let me ask you one more question here um, before we, before we have to go for our commercial break, but Marlene, how can women develop what you call the undefeated mindset in face in the face of adversity? How can they develop it? They first have to know and believe that they are more than a conqueror, that they were made in God's image. And he said, greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. So what does that mean? You have greatness inside of you and you just need to tap into it so that you can um, believe that you can achieve everything that you put your mind to. Oh, I love it. I love it. You know, and that's one of my most, my, my favorite people in the whole world in history was Eleanor Roosevelt. Oh, okay. You know, okay. she, she, she was such a powerful woman and, and I look up to her, you know, and even, even to today, but one of her sayings is 
the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Okay. Okay. But I, I, my caveat to that is it even, it, it helps when we can have that belief in ourselves, yes. right? Yes. If, if, and, and also the belief in the Lord Jesus. Yes. And God That's Almighty, where it all begins. You know? So yes. if, if you can have the faith in, in, you know, our spiritual faith, right? And we can have our faith in ourselves and our belief in ourselves and the belief in the beauty of our dreams. It's almost like a holy trinity. Yes. When you and, can and connect is. all those things. So and if I yeah. can and if I can add to that, yeah. Patty, guess how much faith we have to have? The a size of a mustard seed. seed. You know how small a mustard seed is? I was just thinking about that yeah. the other day. A little faith. That's all he requires. And uh, I think we put, as women, we put so much pressure on ourselves. And all he asked was a little faith. Okay. And guess what? He has power that's bigger than that. So. Amen to that. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Well, I am, you know, I, I really want to get right back to this conversation, but we need to take a break for a word from our sponsor. So we'll be right back. Okay. Entrepreneurology is relatively a new field of study that focuses on entrepreneurship as a discipline. It encompasses various aspects of entrepreneurship, such as business strategy, innovation, creativity, risk management, leadership, and more. The primary goal of entrepreneurology is to equip entrepreneurs with the skills and knowledge needed to successfully start, grow, and sustain a business venture in today's dynamic and competitive business environment. Entrepreneurology is a discipline that seeks to understand the art and science of entrepreneurship with the aim of providing entrepreneurs with the tools and knowledge they need to build successful businesses. Don't settle for traditional academic programs that don't recognize your real-world experiences and potential for success. Join the education revolution in entrepreneurship. And we're back. Oh, my goodness. If you're just joining us, today's my guest is Marlene Trammell, and she's with us in the emotional dimension of life. And we've been having such a wonderful conversation. So I have some more questions for her that I want to to uh, be able to bring bring to the plate now and oh my goodness Marlene you know that that's what it's it's all about so your gift is is a gold mine this is this is what what you say and you you tell people your gift is a gold mine so can you share how this belief has shaped your own life and how it inspires you to do work with other women. What's inspired me is my ability to be able to see women, their gift that's on the inside of them and they don't even realize it themselves. And being able to empower them to sit, you know, and with God and just pray and ask him to allow God to show them what their gift is. And while I say your gift is your gold mine, it does not, it does not mean just, it's not tied just to wealth. It's tied to your peace. It's tied to you being fulfilled. It's tied, it's tied to you saying, this is what I'm supposed to be doing every day. I wake up and I think about doing this. That is why your gift is your gold mine. But a lot of us, especially women, we have not tapped into our gold mine. We we serve everyone else except for serving ourselves first. And that is what my mission is, especially after I had to be reminded because during my brain surgery, that's one of the after my, my recovery. That is what he showed me, Patty, that the enemy is trying to derail you. He's trying to get you off your path of you using the gift that I've given you to empower other women. And so that's why I had to get back on track and minister to other women and be able to empower them and tell them to get up and fight that this is only a temporary setback. I don't know how to sit down. I don't know how to be depressed, sick. That's why I'm like, okay, that was his way of getting my attention, Patty. And I want women to know that 
Uh, my goal also is for you to die empty. Ooh, that can you explain that, that? That means that you have fully exhausted every gift and talent, every idea that God has given you. Ooh, that is that is awesome. Oh, I love the thought of that. Oh my goodness. So again, we we are so similar. I I I really I I say, you know, and you and you're being a you're being a minister. So this is fantastic yes. that 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 we correlate so well. But, you know, I believe that each one of us, God gave us our, the individual gifts and talents that we have. Yes. We were born and, and they've, of course, they've developed over our mm -hmm. ages and stages, right? But we were given these gifts and talents to help ourselves and to help others. Exactly. That, that's, what, that's what we were given. And those, those gifts and talents and the soul that dwells within us, the spirit mm -hmm. that God yes. breathed into us, make us as unique as the iris of our eyes and our fingerprints. Every single one of us are different. Are different, and, yes. And so, and as as a coach, as a coach, it's you and I and you as a minister, you can look at people and you can see some things in people. Sometimes they don't quite see themselves exactly. yet. Yet. Yes, right. It's, it's, so it's like, it's hard for us as individuals to see the label on the outside of the jar because we're on the inside. Oh, yes. I like that. Yes. You're you know, correct. And, and, and so you and I do so much of the same same thing and drawing that out of people. And and what I say and I've shared recently is like when we can take and I would all this this whole week, my good morning risers, I've been talking about finding our purpose and living within it. So mm -hmm. we find our purpose and we're living with it. But then also, if we can connect that to our own morals and values, yes. that is that sweet spot. That is, that's a blissful, beautiful and, and, place to be. Mm -hmm. And that's part of being, having fulfillment. Yes. Because some women that, you know, I talk to, Patty, we have to realize they may say, oh, I'm using my gift. I'm doing this, you know, but... You can be doing it in sometimes the wrong environment. Exactly. You know, and, and you feel drained and you're not happy. You know, this is the gift that God has given you. But guess what? You may have to change your environment in what you're doing and how you're doing it and surround it with like minded individuals. That's so important. So you yes. can be fulfilled. That's part of your goal mind. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, we're, we talk such the same language. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it is so, so very true. And, and you've heard you've heard it said, we've all heard it said, if you are doing something that you love as your career or how you're making your money mm -hmm. and, and that connection that we're talking about with your purpose, it's like you're never working a day in your life. Exactly. You know when you're in that right spot. All right. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So, yes. I love it. Your gift is your gold mine. And you've, that's a great tag that you put on that. Oh, it makes, yes, yes. Yes. And I, and I love that. And also, I'll, I also want to stress really quick too, is you have to know your seasons because sometimes that's really being, you know, connected and being in alignment, Patty, you have to know that, Hey, I'm drained. I've been doing this for X amount of years. You know what? It's time for you to exit your time there it's done. Then you can move to the next phase in your life. Mm, mm, mm. Exactly. The ages and stages, the different chapters that we're yes. on. Yes. yes. Oh, it ties together so well. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness, Marlene. So another question I have for you today, many women grapple with internal struggles like self doubt and fear, you know, and, and that type of thing. So how do you right. help them shift from those barriers to embracing their highest calling with with their confidence and purpose developed over the years the the self framework and what i have women to do is to look at those look in those four areas um your spiritual area emotional lifestyle and financial those are the four areas of self because everything starts and ends with self and sometimes we're not honest with ourselves. 
And we have this internal struggle. My my goal is is to get you past those struggles, right? So that you can unleash your gift to the world. But it has to start with you first. So how do you do that? You may ask, you have to go through what I call the, the self-awareness. You need to know um, the, the good things about your strengths and weaknesses. It's sort of like the SWAT. Know what your strengths and weaknesses are and your, your threats. The things that are holding you back from mastering who you are. Once you master who you are, you will become unstoppable. But you have to be able to know what those internal struggles are and be honest with yourself. And um, that is one of the things that I do in my coaching program is for you to, you know, I, I, I always say, Patty, nobody should be able to tell you about you ex- without you knowing it yourself. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you my should goodness. not be offended, you know, and, that, and that's the thing. That's because you have mastered yourself, but we're always evolving, correct? We have to transform who we are. The person that you were on yesterday, you should not be that person today. You should be ever evolving. If we're not learning and growing, we're slowly dying inside. Exactly. I yes. totally agree. Right. Yes. And, you know, so, and, and again, you and I are so very similar, but I, I talk about the eight dimensions of life mm-hmm. because, and, and I, and I, let me share like this, what social media, right? Social media, you know, everybody compares themselves to everyone else. The thing is there, we're wearing a mask. People are wearing a mask Definitely. to protect yes. themselves against other people's judgment and all these things. But the, problem comes in when people are wearing the mask for themselves and they're not Mm -hmm. not allowing themselves to realize and be vulnerable with oneself and honest with oneself and and so i work with clients on on those types of things and like you were saying about knowing ourselves you know people need to spend more time getting to know themselves so they can know like trust and ultimately love themselves and i work with people on all those things and so if if you know if you're talking about the difference between knowing yourself and knowing your friend you know there's so many things sometimes you you can know about your best friend but you don't take the time to spend with yourself and exactly learning about yourself yes you learn i totally how to be agree your own best friend and and mm-hmm. that's what i that i work with people on those and, and i realize that a lot of women suffer with that when you're saying know how to be your own best friend be okay with being alone you know yes. sitting with yourself i just mean d- it just sitting with yourself and getting to know yourself because believe it or not whatever you're going through whatever season that you're in that is the type of energy you're going to uh, attract yes amen sister it is when when you are in that right space and you're 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 there you're vibrating at that right level you're in the right yes. mindset you are going to bring the right people, places, opportunities, and things into your path. Exactly, pathway. exactly. And when you're in the alignment and and in the space that that the Lord God wants us to be in, He, he yes. does want us all to be there. So, and uh, oh my goodness! So oh, it's been so wonderful having you with us, Marlene. Um, can you share with everybody where they can find more about you? Can you share your website with us? Sure, my website is www.marlenetremule.com. That's www.marlenetremule.com. Can you spell that for them just in case they enter it? Sure. My first name is M A R L E N E T as in Tom R I M U E L dot com. Wonderful. And then will you share with the viewers and listeners, because I know you said you had a gift for everyone you wanted to to provide. Yes. I I want you to go to is go G O dot Marlene Tremule dot com forward slash gift. So that's go dot Marlene Tremule dot com forward slash gift. And what will they get when they go there? You will get a uh, ebook that's entitled Five Ways to Lead with Your Gift and Reclaim Your Power. Ooh, ooh, that sounds so nice. I hope our viewers and listeners got that. And 
again, reach out to, to Marlene if you have any questions or, or when, when we air, you know, reach, you know, reach out, contact her and, and comment, you know, ask her questions. This has been another episode of the Rise Above Show. I'm Dr. Patricia Jo Grover, and I have gifts for our viewers and listeners too. If you text the word growth, G-R-O-W-T-H, to 26786, or if you're outside the continental U.S., it could be, you could use 1-866-926-4020. And you'll have journaling prompts come into you as a text for the next 30 days. And these are introspective questions to help you get to know a little bit more about yourself. And, and journaling is a great habit. It will help you move forward. So we have the exit video. And thank you again for being with me, Marlene. It's a pleasure. I look forward to speaking with you again. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. I'm so glad you joined us for today's episode of The Rise Above Show. Life really isn't a problem to be solved, as it is a mystery to be lived. And we need to learn to live it to its fullest potential. Living outside the box, not putting ourselves in that box, or allowing other people to put us in there and keep us in there. There is no such thing as a box. Find out more at patriciajoegrover.com. And I have a gift for you. If you text the word GROWTH, G-R-O-W-T-H, to 26786. And if you're outside the continental U.S., text to 1866 Until next time, rise above the challenges that life bring your way and have a great day.